Okay, we'll do a quick Monday straight after on the side. We'll begin here. Let's start things off. Here we go. go. That was extremely comprehensive. Two one felt like a bit of an unfair reflection, but still a great result. Yeah, you know, slight, slight disappointment at the goal, which makes the result look slightly different. It gave us a nervous few minutes, but performance levels of the team, attitude of the team. Can't ask for any more. Maybe another goal or so to put it to bed earlier. Um, but everything we asked for, and it's been a tough period for us at home. We, we know that. Last couple of days have been spent, or well, for me and for the for the lads, of finding the reasons why. Because I can't keep saying we're playing well and, and, and lose games. It just doesn't work. So we had to find the reason why, and a lot of it for me was a mentality in both boxes, focus in every moment of the game, and they gave me everything today. Big, uh, two, two big calls on Giroud and Alonso. Obviously, they both scoring. Yeah, I'm, I'm pleased. You know, you, you, you always look clever when that comes off, and you, you're called an idiot when it doesn't. <laughs> with, with decisions, and we have to make them every week. I'm delighted for them both because it's not easy, and you know they're experienced lads when they're not playing regularly. And you know, everyone's talking about Oli. Oli's got his fitness. You can see there, 70 minutes is, is tough for him, but. What you do get with Oli is quality, you, you know his attributes and a game where I expected Tottenham to be deep, which they were in the first half, you know you can find him and he can bring people into the game and then the Mason and Ross around him helped with their energy and then you know he can finish uh, and obviously Marcus's finish was top draw as well, so really pleased. That's what a squad needs, you know, it's not easy as I say to, to make selections and people not playing. You need to trust that they're good professionals and both of them have been um, in all ways and um, delighted for them. Have you, 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 you been made aware in your TV interviews after the game of the Giovanni Lascelso situation? Yes. What do you think about that? About Sophie Park coming out and saying we made a mistake here? Well, everybody knew they made a mistake. Who, who had the, we, we obviously have the, the the monitor and can view it. I was just waiting for the red card to be shown, um, not with real pleasure because it's just a tackle that endangers a player. That's what VAR was brought in for to see things that the referee on the on the, on the pitch side don't see. Um, and it's just not good enough. No, no more to say. No more to say. The the um, saying afterwards that they made a mistake is not good enough um, because they have minutes, a couple of minutes they took there to try, to try and get it right. They probably needed one viewing of that one to get it right. So I don't know what more to say. Just a huge another question mark on VAR. And I want VAR to, to be good. I want it to work. It's a high speed game. The referees have the toughest job around. VAR was brought in to help them and make the game better. And it was so wrong today. No, more question marks. Is that a prime example where Mike Oliver has over 260 games experience? The VAR, I think, has 23 games experience. Why is he not being advised to go for it? I, I think uh, it's not, and the reason being is it's so clear that that prime example is when it's probably there's a doubt. You know, we we think it may be. We think you might have got it wrong. I yeah, I agree. It goes to the monitor then, which they're not doing. I think once they've been to the monitor. This one doesn't need the monitor. It's a clear decision, um, human decision. Stop your park, red card. Game goes on. Frank, do you think? Giroud can be part of the solution in, in games that you've had here where you've played teams that are sitting deep and are letting you cross the ball or, or funneling into wide areas. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I think he can be, yeah, without a doubt, the way you play today. we need If we need to adapt slightly, and that's the case, listen, Tammy's been fantastic this season. Who's played the majority of games and got himself an England squad, scored regular goals at the top of the charts, had a more difficult time recently and with his injury. Um, but, yeah, you, you understand the attributes of them both. Different games, different teams that come up against you, you can use different attributes of them. And I'm just delighted that Oli comes in and gets his goal. So that's that's positive. I need I need that competition. Does it feel good to have nice decisions to make going into a Bayern game now when you've been struggling for goals? Yeah, I mean, it's another game. We can't get carried away with what, what happened today because in Bayern, our focus, I mentioned before, has to be even more in the Champions League. Um, but yeah, no, it, it's, it's nice decisions. And we still have some issues. You know, we still have, at the minute, three wingers that are out injured. Uh, Ruben, great to have him on the bench, but hasn't kicked a ball this season. So there are lots of ways we can get that threat higher up the pitch again. But the, the way the players play today, um, and when Oli's playing, you have to play to his strengths. You have to put balls into the box. You have to use him to bring people into the game. And if we have to adapt slightly for games like that, then those are the that's the the, the test that, that I'm under and that the players are under. Frank, how serious were you before kick off when you were suggesting that Jose's connection to the training ground might have helped him with his team selection? Serious. 
that's the world we live in and I'm not being sinister about it but uh, you know it's the world we live in you know so whether it's like someone's worked previously at the club I think that that can happen when you work we've been working on a back three for two or three days and I'm not that trust in, in always in everybody but that's that's life but in that case is it even more satisfying that you know it's the second time in two months that you uh, only, uh, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say tactically outwitted because he matched us up. Maybe that's a bit of credit because he, he knew that we played it well at, at Tottenham. Um, and then it's up to the players. So, you know, we, we've got some previous to play in the system and the system only works if the players play the way they play. The system only works if Ross and, and, and Mason Mount are so mobile around Oli up front and, and give you a, a, a threat behind them as well. Mason gets in with that chance early behind there their back three so the system only works if the back three today don't sit off and, and allow people to turn on, on the ball because they're playing with two kind of full strikers so it's the players that enforce it we work on it but the players made the system so is it more of a, is it more of a triumph of man management and you brought, you brought Giroud back in you brought Alonso back in and also Barkley who's been had a key I, I don't want to claim that because as I say every, everyone can say well why didn't they play last week why didn't they play next you know and I have to make decisions as I see the games and sometimes people might look at a decision you make and go well, why is that well I might talk about a team that want to come here and get up the pitch and put us under pressure and there's space behind I've picked the team on those sort of merits so what I do need is a squad that are all pumped and ready to go game in game out that's not easy they're humans and they want to play every game so that's part of the spirit that we need to keep working on today the spirit in the dressing room was fantastic the spirit on the pitch was fantastic and we can't lose sight of that, that that's the reason we won this game OK we're going to leave it there we're going to do Mondays on the side thank you thank you all